Hello guys, today I will demo another new big operational feature in Hyper-V technical preview. It's Hyper-V replica support for hot add and remove virtual hard disk or VHDX. So Microsoft added the ability to hot add and remove virtual hard drive to virtual machine that was being replicated. This is really fantastic. Why? Because if you recall, in Windows Server 2012 and 2012 R2, if you add a virtual hard drive to a virtual machine that was being replicated, then the replication would fail. So now, in technical preview, that doesn't happen anymore. So when you add a virtual hard drive, hot add a virtual hard drive to a replicated virtual machine, it doesn't get automatically added to the replication disk set yet, but the replication continues to work just fine. At, at any stage, while the virtual machine is still running and replicated happily, you can actually go in and use a simple PowerShell command that, that I will show you in today's demo. Add or remove the virtual hard drive from, from the replication disk set. And then it will automatically resynchronize and everything just works. So really thank you Microsoft for making a Hyper-V replica experience a lot more seamless. So let's start the demo now. I have uh, a three Hyper-V technical preview node, TP1, TP2, TP3. As you can see, we don't have any virtual machine running or replicated between those nodes. I will go in now and create a new virtual machine. Create demo VM virtual machine on, on technical preview one node. Let's now confirm. Yes, indeed, we have a new created virtual machine. So now I will enable the replication to this new VM to the Hyper-V technical preview node two. It's the same commandlet as you know from previous releases. Let's confirm that we have now the VM refresh. As you can see, it. so now the VM, the prime initial replica is here, and the, ex the replica virt VM is running on TP node two. Now I will extend the replica even to the third technical preview node. Of course, the time uh, fr frequency is five minutes or 15 minutes in the extended replica and the primary replica is 30 seconds. Let's confirm that indeed the VM, yes, so the VM is extend replica to a third node. So now I will create a new virtual hard drive to the primary virtual machine using the new VHD, VHD commandlet, but the VHD is not added yet, so I will add now, hot add the new virtual hard disk to the primary virtual machine. So add VM hard disk drive, the VM name, the pass. Let's confirm under settings on the primary virtual machine that yes, indeed we have C and D. This is the new added disk. Under replication, replication VHDs, you can see the newly added disk to the VM is still excluded. It's not added to the set disk set yet. So I will now, using a simple PowerShell commandlet, to add the virtual hard disk to the replica disk set. So now behind the scene, Hyper-V replica will resync. Let's confirm that the disk indeed now very nice as you can see now the D the drive D now and drive C both of them are on the replication VHD's disk set and let's confirm on on node two that under settings you can see C D replicated perfect on the fly and Hyper Replica did not complain any critical error or state. So now the replication continues successfully. 
The nice thing is, under extended replication on the second node, the replication VHDs, it's ex showing excluded here. On the next racing cycle, which which is after five minutes, the extended replica from node two to node three, Hyper-V replica will include automatically the the D drive volume to the replica disk set and will replicate it over node three. Fantastic. But here we need to wait, as I said, five minutes until the the next replica cycle take place. If we go to node 3 under settings for the virtual machine, as you can see still the D volume not added to the replica set. So now we are still waiting the disk update, as you can see the checkpoint automatically disk update replica so it detects that we have a new added disk and it will be updated in the next replica cycle as you can see now the checkpoint get deleted and the disk is replicated across the third node as well let's confirm the third node on the setting of the, the VM yes indeed here we go, we have D drive has been extended to the third to the third uh, node as well. So now we can also remove the replicate disk set. Using the same commandlet but using here uh, to understand this commandlet is little bit confused at first so the same commandlet but you don't actually exclude you use the same commandlet but you include all the disks that you would like to keep in the replicated disk set and all the other disks will be excluded removed from the replica so here in my commandlet I'm set VM replication of course the VM name replicated disk set property so I'm I took the VM hard drives of the VM under control location zero, control number zero. So only um, I need to keep the C uh, drive to be replicated and the D drive now will be uh, excluded. So if I go back to my Hyper-V node one, under settings, under replication, replication VHDs, uh, nice. And here the D is excluded again from the replica set, disk set if we go to node 3 node 2 under settings let's see oh nice the D get disappeared from the node 2 as well if we go under extended replication does not exist anymore but on the third node we need to wait also five minutes the next cycle which me which is five minutes Again, the D drive will be excluded as well from the replica disk set automatically. Really, this is very nice uh, enhancement in Hyper-V technical, technical preview. So I want to mention that all the work that Microsoft did around virtual machine configuration upgrade, as you know that now we have a new uh, configuration file for uh, virtual machine, also get benefit for Hyper-V replica as well so in fact we can uh, now doing replication between 2012 R2 and technical preview and vice versa as long as we don't upgrade the virtual machine configuration version this will maintain the compatibility mode between the two versions so I hope this demo has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing